Yo guys! Yeah. So, we have just finished climbing on the Cornwall yeah. in a, probably a previous video to this video, who knows. So two videos ago, the one that I shot with these two dream boats, mm -hmm. um, we asked at the end for a bunch of questions. We thought it would be way nicer to answer them in person right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to answer some of your questions. Sure. If you are not interested in knowing some general knowledge, maybe this isn't a bit for you, but clear off. Clear off. <laughs> Go watch this video. <laughs> here. Gear. Follow the link in the description. But yeah. Sweet. Cool, let's Sweet. do it. Let's do it. This first comment we're going to turn into like probably a whole tutorial video. Jakey, do you want to read out the question? Who's it from? It's from Laurence Alchemedi. I apologize for that so pronunciation. <laughs> There's so many jargon videos out there, but they're mostly about holds. Maybe include moves as well. Moon kick, bump, dead point, deep lock, cross, match. We'll do a terminology video yeah. soon. Yeah, terminology, different climbing moves. Maybe how to do some of those moves as well. Yeah. Yeah. coming up. Yeah. Um, so this one's from Emma Jackson. She says that she's found her new favorite climbing channel. Thanks, Emma. Oh, Thanks, yeah, Emma. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Training Question, video. what kind of training do you do? I feel like Joe, I, I don't, really train, I've never done much training, no. other than like climbing on the 45 degree board. Yeah. I think if I do any training, it's like mostly revolves around core. Um, so I do a lot of leg raises on the bar, um, work on front levers and things like muscle ups and stuff. I like mean, that. I feel like it should be stated that all three of these dudes work at the wall, climb here every day. Jake literally has to climb for his job. Yeah. Um, Joe probably climbs a lot on his breaks while he's working it anyway. So yeah, it's just like a lot of climbing, yeah. especially yeah. if you're operating kind of below the V8 mark. Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that's a lot of people. That's, that's like that's like everyone. that's like 90 percent of people. Probably don't need to do any training. Probably just need to climb just, a bit more. Just climb yeah. a lot. Climb and a lot. especially <laughs> climbing outdoors has helped my climbing like uh, loads just and like yeah you know don't stress about grades man it's just yeah. about having yeah. a sweet you, old time yeah. but yeah if, if you, you want to you get better yeah don't necessarily think about oh i really want to climb v5 if you climb yeah. v4 be like i want to climb v4 in every style and then climb v5 yeah like, well, like any, any training you do should be just to increase the amount of time you can spend climbing yeah yeah injury yeah. prevention yeah. that kind of stuff Oh, cool, next question. Next cool. question. Um, more bee eating hot sauce, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's from Luke Mins. Uh, he also asks, how do you get better grip strength on crimpy holds and slopers? Um, seems like a big leap from V6 into V7. Um, yeah, I think I think once you stop, like V5 to V6 is quite a big leap. And then again, six yeah. to seven is another big leap. I think I again, think. it comes down to just climbing those holds more. Like, yeah. just pick them and work on yeah. them. If yeah, if you suck at them, do them more. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. And when it comes to climbing hard problems, don't try and do the whole block. If there's moves you can do on it, skip the moves you can do. Just fall off that one move you can't do over and over and over again until you can do it. And if you really can't do it, then go try something else similar. Come back to it in a couple of weeks or whatever. If you're not falling on a climbing session, you're probably not trying hard enough. Yeah. Uh, Got him. Um, you need to fall to improve, basically. For sure. But oh. if you're just starting out, mm. be controlled with your falling. Yes, oh, yeah. please. Yes. Please. Yeah. Please. Hurt yourself. Yeah. Um, about the hot sauce, we've done it a lot, so we've given it a little bit of a break. Yeah, we're giving the hot sauce a break at the minute. But... Yeah. We just did on Eric's channel, so hopefully that'll keep you guys entertained for a bit. Yeah. Um, we've got some more punishment ideas coming up. Uh, one involving <laughs> my skill of archery. Oh my god. Uh, so... <laughs> We'll see how that goes. It's not, not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> Matt Gordon also wants to know when the next hot sauce challenge is. <laughs> Dude, they really want our assholes. Nick to <laughs> uh, I, I've already, I already replied to this one. Um, it was why is Joe wearing women's high angles instead of men's? I have slimmer feet. Yeah. Um, they're technically not. <laughs> they say they're women's, but they're just like a low volume version of the shoe. Um, for some reason, uh, Five Ten decided to gender it. They could change that. That'd be great. It's a side of the norm. Uh, I've just got a new comment literally came in an hour ago. It says Jake reminds me of soggy cornflakes. <laughs> what, what, what does that mean? Charles Bray. What does that mean? <laughs> Please you mean? elaborate. Yeah. Soggy cornflakes. I'm not even sure if you should be insulted or not. I think I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> <you just? laughs> so what inspired you all to climb and then move on to setting blocks? What inspired us to start climbing? Well. Uh, a YouTube video called The Insiders. That's what inspired me to climb. Oh, really? Yeah. Do That's you know? A yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic YouTube video called yeah. The Insiders. It's got uh, Ashima Shirashi on it. 
She's like eight in that video or something. Yeah, she's kind and of it's cool. Is it Paul Robinson as well? Paul Robinson and um, Sasha the Julian. Yeah. It's very, very cool. Go inspired me to start that. climbing. Uh, my dad took me on a holiday hiking in the mountains and then I got pretty psyched on it after that. Cool. Yeah, and the first climbing wall I ever went to was just top ropes and it was just, um, it was a brick wall with just grip spotted onto it and I probably spent the first like year and a half of my climbing life just going <laughs> top roping on a brick wall with holes <laughs> bolted into it. Old school. Yeah. Uh, there was just a climbing wall at uni and they offered like a free taster session and then that was it. Just one session that was it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Why the Kicks shirt? Next shirt. Next Why the next shirt? shirt? Is it because it matched with your hat? This is to you, Jake. I'm a basketball fan and the Knicks used to be good. It's an old shirt. They're, they're terrible now. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently also you need to chill out with your handsomeness. Oh, thanks, who is it? This is from Pedro, Pedro with, two, okay. with, with two zeros. Thanks, thanks Pedro. Do you do training, weight or cardio? Nah, I don't, I should do cardio, don't do cardio. No, weight like sometimes, very rarely with a weight vest, but not often. Yeah, wouldn't really recommend weight vests that much. They're, yeah, they're overkill. Like, yeah. Running for base level fitness is kind of essential. I don't do it, but you, have, you should do you it. Should it's do essential, it. but it's I don't essential. do it. It's like, essential. Like, these are all things that we should yeah. be doing if we, we wanted to be it. getting better, but we're yeah. Yeah, not committed. We're not committed like Hannah. Oh, what's this question? Hello. How do you schedule climbing versus training versus rest days? I normally go for just the one day on, one day off option. Yeah, I, yeah oh. two days on, one day off. Yeah. I yes. try and get at least three days climbing in a week and sometimes they're all one after the other. My work schedule is pretty random as well, so... I think it's important that you just find out what works for you. Some people can just climb every day just, and they can vary their intensity of the session and some people have to take like you know, a few days off. It's quite personal. Detra Hal... No, I can't even... What, what's, that, what's that name of that person? D-T-R-E-H-A-L-O-S-E. That's all we're gonna... Detra Lose? Down to fuck loser. Says, uh... WTF is a bobat. Yeah, I think it's some yeah. kind of like, like some kind of ancient, uh, ancient cyclops, brown beast. Yeah. <laughs> mythical, an ancient, mythical, yeah. an ancient brown mist that provides <laughs> entertainment across the land. Last question from Tob. Tob says, just got a hold. Tob, like Toby. Tob, yeah, Tob. It's probably Tob. Did but... you say Tob? Yeah, Tob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's Tobe, but come on, it's Tob, isn't it? It's Tob. <laughs> um, Tob wants to know. <laughs> so he's just got um, a hole in his first pair of climbing shoes in six months in the in the right big toe. What should I avoid? If you, right climb, if you climb often in any pair of shoes indoor, you will, in six months you will probably have a hole yeah, in front sure. of your shoes. I, yeah, I normally get through a pair of shoes in about, about six months. Yeah. Um, I know people get through them in about two months. Something that a lot, like generalizing something that a lot of newer climbers do is that they will, if they're moving their foot up, they will, they will like drag it up the wall, and then you can kind of start getting a, toe, a hole here and a hole there. If you do, yeah, I don't know, it's just footwork. Foot really. placement, yeah. If you place it. your foot really precisely the first time around, you're going to burn less rubber. Also, if you're smearing and you're not slipping your rubber, boy. Yeah. They're Going not, they're not designed to last a year, yeah. if, especially if you're climbing indoors. All right, guys. Sweet. Any wow, more questions? A questions? There's a lot of questions. Oh. No, I think I think we've got through most of them. Um, if you have more questions, drop them below this video, and maybe we'll reply to them yeah. on the keyboards or in real life. Who knows? Cool. Sweet. All right. Like, subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.